Our world is responsible for some of the most disappointing films in history. But across the cosmos, in an alternate reality, these same films were done right, giving us alternate, alternate endings. Dear Marty, if my calculations are correct, you should receive this letter just after seeing the DeLorean struck by lightning. I'm writing to tell you not to come back to get me. No matter what, you were to go back to 1985. All you need to know about me is that I'm alive and well working as a blacksmith in the year 1885. 1885? He's alive! The doc's alive! He's living in the old west, but he's alive! I gotta go back to the future! I can't go back to the future. This tombstone says that Doc's gonna be killed by Mad Dog Tannen. I gotta go back for him. Doc? Dr. Emmett Brown? Doc? Marty? Doc? Doc? Why? I gave you an explicit instructions not to come here, but to go directly back to 1985. But did you listen? No! Doc, we're on our third film. I've never listened to you. Do you realize how hard it was getting that letter to you? No reputable establishment would keep a letter in their possession for 70 years, waiting to deliver it to a specific spot in the middle of a thunderstorm in the middle of nowhere? I had to hire character actor Joe Flaherty to do it! And that wasn't an easy task, since he won't be born for another 56 years. Doc. Damn it. I don't have time to explain the details. The point is, you dumb kid, that time travel is much too dangerous and I can't have you mucking up the time stream anymore. Seriously, that whole gray sports almanac thing really pissed me off. Waste of a perfectly good adventure. The hoverboard scene was fun. But that's not the point. I'm sorry, Marty. You've left me no choice. There's no possible reason on this planet for you to have disobeyed my letter. No reason at all! Hey, blacksmith! What do you want, Tannen? Oh, I see. I've never listened to you! Two and now a quarter film, and I've never listened to you. <laughs> That's the one!